welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you are into that kind of thing, then you should definitely, definitely stick around. I know it's been a minute <laughs> since I've been on my channel, but I've been working on a lot of other creative things outside of YouTube that I'm really excited about coming later this year and you guys will hear about it <laughs> but uh, for the time being it's been taking up a lot of my time so I haven't had as much time to be as consistent as, as I would like on here but I'm so happy to be with you guys today. Now um, I don't think I've said this in a video, I might have mentioned it in my comments but I am currently on a no buy and that includes thrifting so I'm not going to be thrifting for a little while just because I honestly have a lot of stuff and I actually am really happy with where my wardrobe is so I don't really feel like I need anything at the moment so I know a lot of you found me from my like thrift with me and stuff like that so I'm probably not going to be doing one for a little while but I am going to be doing a lot more styling and playing with what I have in my closet and if you like thrift content then you'll like that too because pretty much everything that I own is thrifted so it's basically styling my thrifted wardrobe that's kind of what I'm going to be doing for the next who knows how long, I haven't given myself a limit, we'll see when I feel like I want to start buying again, but for right now, I am really happy and content with what I have as far as my clothing goes, <laughs> so I'll probably focus more on decor and home stuff, but um, not any clothing. So anyway, today's video is going to be 10 spring outfits inspired by The Parent Trap, which is probably my favorite movie, I can quote it a lot. Um, Nancy Myers is my favorite director, so I love all her movies, I love the fashion all of them, the home decor and all of them, just like so many people do. But anyway, I am going to be styling some looks based on the looks in that movie, and we're just going to get right into them, so let's go! Alrighty, so for this look, I was inspired by when Elizabeth and Hallie go through the town and she's wearing that trench coat and white dress. What I mainly took was just the monochromatic look of it all with like a creamy butter color underneath and a trench over top. So I picked through my wardrobe and found something that I thought would go with it. Now my top is Ann Taylor and thrifted, my skirt is thrifted, my shoes are thrifted, and my trench coat is Ann Taylor but it's also thrifted as you guys always know. My bag is also thrifted so I think this does a great job of really kind of like um, capturing the entire feeling of that look and that's one thing when you guys are going into your closet and just trying to recreate things not copy them exactly it's just to pick certain elements to give you a jumping off, off point and then seeing what you have um, to go from there So for this next Elizabeth James inspired look, it's inspired by the scene when she's in the hotel and she has on like the tan and cream and I feel like that's kind of her color palette and black, she's a very neutral lady. But um, I realized I didn't like these loafers with it so I paired it with these other flats. I really like the color tones of this, everything in it is thrifted, my pants are from Club Monaco but they are thrifted. And yeah, everything else is thrifted. I think it's really cool by adding this layer over it. It kind of gives the same um, uh, like look as her uh, jacket that she wore, the blazer that she wore with it, except for it's my version of that. <laughs> Okay, so if this is not the most Meredith Blake dress you've ever seen, I really don't know what to tell you because it's honestly so her. Uh, that's me imitating that scene in the pool when she's talking to her. Um, and then I paired a thrifted jacket, the dress is thrifted, my shoes are thrifted, and my bag is vintage Fendi, but I think it's really, um, really, I mean, there's not much to say about it because it's probably the most like spot on, almost like a complete recreation of a look <laughs> that I have in this entire video. Now, this second Meredith Blake inspired um, look is a really cute one. Everything in it is thrifted. My shoes are Stuart Weitzman, uh, but I got them thrifting and I paired this little uh, plaid mini dress with a black linen shirt over top of it just because I'm not really that into minis even though I know that's a big trend, but I find them really uncomfortable so I like to pair them with flats and then something to just kind of cover up a little bit more so I feel a little bit more comfortable. So I think this is like the perfect balance, nice for like a casual day. Everything in this look is thrifted and inspired by when Hallie is wearing that uh, pastel blue suit. So I pulled out some pastel and some really light blue denim and I like the relaxed look of it all.
So the second Hallie Parker inspired look is inspired by the dress she wore when they went on the boat. It had, it was like satin and it had all these embossed prints all over it, you guys can see there. So I had this kimono that had a similar pattern on it, so I was like, this is perfect, and I paired it with a pink Ralph Lauren uh, t-shirt that I thrifted. My jeans are from ASOS, my shoes are thrifted, my bag is thrifted, so it's a mostly thrifted look. Now I think uh, Hallie is a California girl at heart, so I think she would wear something really fun like this once she grew up, so I think it works perfectly for this um, video on to Annie James. I really like this one. This is my interpretation of her camp look, the two-piece that was plaid. Now, I don't have a plaid two-piece, but I think this is a good example of how you can adapt it to whatever you have in your closet. That was me doing the handshake. But I took this plaid shirt, paired it with a pair of linen shorts, belted it. Everything here is thrifted, and my shoes are thrifted as well. So I really like this interpretation of her two-piece, because I have a two-piece kind of, but it's not exactly the same. I couldn't do this video without doing the iconic yellow and white looks, so this is my version of Annie's look in that. So I have a pair of Levi uh, yellow jeans, a thrifted yellow cardigan, a yellow tank that's from Hollister, and my shoes are um, Antonia Milani, but they're thrifted. So I think adding the loafers really makes it Annie Parker because she has that more preppy style. And then of course, inspired by the color scheme of the look in the movie. And I added a little wicker bag that is also thrifted. couldn't do this video without giving Chessie a shout out because her style is also iconic. Honestly, I am a queen of wearing jeans, some sort of tight top, and a bigger over button down <laughs> during the summer. It's kind of like my uniform and it's such a Chessie vibe, but um, I decided to kind of update it a little bit and add a pattern because mostly she wears like uh, plain things so I had this textured undershirt with a patterned um, over button down which I think makes it a little more interesting alrighty guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed please let me know which look was your favorite down below and what other movies you would like me to see <laughs> you would like to see me do a video like this on where I style things from my closet based on a movie uh, so yeah, let me know which movie down below and which look was your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw, have something to say, or would just like to keep up with the rest of the fashion videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.